Hello everyone and welcome back to another Sarah Walton Pottery Kiln Unloading. Um, I know it's been a while since I have uh, uploaded a video. A lot has happened in my life and um, it just it didn't afford me any time to actually get into my studio and do some work. So, but I am back and um, I thought I will start my my return video to kind of a sequel to my previous one where I was um, where I had that kiln opening and it was a little bit of an under fire and I wanted to uh, I was gonna refire some pieces so that's what's in this kiln all of my refired pieces so it's not a huge kiln load before I get to opening up the kiln I just wanted to say thank you to everybody each and every one of you who subscribed to my channel and is supporting me and uh, you know even at little shout outs to people when uh, they were just supporting the fact that you know that I wasn't uploading videos they were asking for you know where's where's your video where's this and I just I did explain that I had some some family you know issues and so forth that really took precedence in my world and um, again I apologize that it actually took me a couple of months to get back into studio but I am back and uh, I will be doing my best to upload weekly. That was my promise. I also got called back to work and uh, of course full-time job. It does keep me away from the studio um, a little bit more. Sorry about the background noise everybody. It's my, I'm in my garage. This is where I do my uh, kiln uh, firings and cars drive past. So anyways, so let's get to it. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. So I fired this kiln yesterday. I decided very last minute because actually I was glazing some pieces and I was filming that. And then I thought, you know what? Instead of waiting for the, this, you know, to upload, why not fire it up and see if I can correct the problem? Because remember, had a problem. It didn't turn off and uh, everything, like I said, under fired. Well, it turned off. So that's already a plus. And thank you to all of you who sent in your suggestions um, as what to do. So I did extend the timeline. So I actually extended my timer um, and uh, that I think helped. I did put it on 12 hours. So thank you for that advice. And um, it turned off though, I think somewhere around the eight hour mark, which was very interesting because I started my firing at um, seven last night. And it was, I woke up at like four, like I had, been doing all my my um, as we call it uh, flicking all my switches and so forth every hour setting my timer and then uh, I had checked on it before I went to bed then I went to bed and uh, came out here at four in the morning and it had turned off so that was that was good if it had gone the 12 hours then uh, you know I was I had set my alarm to wake me up <laughs> so that I wouldn't miss it going off but it had gone off so it, I didn't do a hold, I didn't turn it back on because sometimes I'll do that. So we're just gonna see what's happening inside the kiln right now. Um, but again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so already, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's, I, I talk about all things pottery. Uh, I share a lot of glaze secrets, what I'm using, how, to, how I apply them, and hopefully you get a little bit of value out of it. And if you do, hey, make a comment below. Say hello. You know, if you're shy, just say hello. Okay. I'm a bit nervous. I'm nervous because I don't want a fail. You know? So. Wish me luck. You ready? You want to see it with me? Okay. Let me bring the camera in closer. You can see it when I see it. So all I've done so far is crack the lid bring it in here so you can get a good view of what I see. Alrighty, ready, ready? Da 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 da! Okay, much better results. You remember my previous one? So this is cone five. You can see it definitely got to cone five. This is cone six. And that's cone seven, so it definitely hit my cone six. So this is a perfect, perfect firing. So that's that's very good news. So the top shelf made it to the right, the right temperature. So these were some pieces that I had 
glazed up a long time ago. Oh, that is so pretty. So this was a little drip catcher, a um, uh, spoon rest, I should say. It warped a little bit though. Hmm. Huh, that's interesting. It warped in my final firing there. But uh, this is my drip catcher and um, I wanna say this is Oasis and Oatmeal, I think. Or I'm gonna have to look this one up. I'm not sure, but look at those, look at those colors. Look at the way it pools. Oh my goodness. And this is on, um, this is on that uh, red clay, believe it or not, that burgundy clay. So this is a Plainsman clay, but it didn't look as deep here. It's interesting. But that's very pretty. Oh my. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm going to look it up and I'll share what it is. And then this was a plate I had done a long time ago. This is textured turquoise with oatmeal on top of... Um, this is pottery supply house clay. I don't I don't use this clay anymore. This is like a, I think 505 or something like that. I have to look it up, but it's a pottery supply house clay. Um, but I I made this plate and it's been sitting on my shelf to be to be fired honestly for a year. <laughs> just I just didn't have the space in my kiln, so it was one of those things. Be it that my kiln is so tiny that uh, I just. Space is a premium, so I just use some of these to uh, elevate my um, my kiln. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually I'm going to let you see the next shelf too. Bring it in a bit closer. Look at that glass bead on there. Mm. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, it didn't get as hot down here. My bottom shelf. So it definitely did cone five and not quite cone six. Probably just a few degrees off of cone six because so, but better than where it was. Do you remember this bowl? All right. Dun, 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 dun. Ew. Oh, I can feel I have to. Oh, I like it so much better. Oh, oh, yes, I'm glad I refired this. Look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at that. Remember the brown bowl? This is the brown bowl, people. Yes. Look at this. Look at so. This is the refire. This is the refire of that brown bowl. The, and finally, the textured turquoise came out. This was light sepia and textured turquoise. And it originally underfired, and it was just a taupe. I refired it, and you're now seeing all the, the blues and the teals and everything in this. Oh, that was what, much closer to what I'd expected, so. <gasps> I'm so happy with this. Oh, I like even how it, the little, I don't know, let me see if I can get that on camera, hang on. I don't know if you can see that, the way that it just, little brown speckles. So nice. Okay. And let's see. Oh, oh, oh yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Lustrous jade and dark green on black clay. So I refired it. I wanted to make sure, because remember this was also, got this to go into focus here. This was also, um, it hadn't been as speckly and it wasn't as dark because that shelf had really underfired. And even though this was a little bit underfired, I definitely got more of that, that like, I don't want to say crystals because it's not crystals. It's just the way that the, the glaze interacts and separates and you get like the dark blue and the green. 
I, oh my gosh, look how gorgeous that is. Look at that. So I have some more mugs or of these pots downstairs waiting for me to glaze it. So you know I'm gonna be doing this combo. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Fired just for kicks. In. Oh, look at that. Oh, did it fill in my little hole? It did too, almost, almost. This was the butter keeper that I made and it, cause it under fired it, it now, it was really rough. All of this was rough, rough, rough. This is winter wood with frosted lemon and I expected it to run and it hadn't run in my first firing. So I thought I would try to refire it. Look at this color. Look at the colors in here. Oh my word. And that was the one, remember it had the split. It almost filled in with the glaze. I, this will be mine, but look at those, look at the colors inside there. Look at that, how gorgeous. Ah, oh, I'm in love. And this is the top. See, I had expected more running and it hadn't, remember it just, heat work matters, right? You need to have, let's see if I can get this to, there. Heat work matters. Look at this. That is a keeper. That is so pretty. So this was just the frosted lemon on its own. This was frosted lemon on its own. I probably should have done another coat or two. I think I did three coats here and I should have done three coats here, but I was worried because of the winter wood because I knew it ran from my, my test tiles. And uh, So refire this was still very successful. That was very good. So okay, I got a couple pieces that I, I quite like. So this will be a keeper. I just love that. All right. All in all, I don't think it was a it was a was not a failure, but it wasn't a success either. But I did learn some things, you know. So I didn't throw a lot of pieces in there, but I got of the one, two. Oh. Yeah, those probably half worked out. I'm so happy with this one. So at least I know, and I'm gonna, like I said, glaze more in that combo. Um, but I think my my winner. This is my winner. I really like it. I wish it ran a little bit more just to fill that in that little bit. But I got, if you remember from the other video, it was like. A giant crack so this will be my butter keeper still a tiny bit rough so it probably could have you know gone a little hotter and that might have smoothed out but I kind of like it what do you think tell me tell me what you think comment below but this is this is my fave I might do some oh ooh, I have some uh, Luminaries. I'm gonna do some luminaries in this glaze combo. Oh, yes, yes. Isn't that interesting how you get some blues and purples with that? Oh, too pretty, too pretty. So that was my winner, my first runner up. This is my second runner up. Love this. I'm again. I am happy that I re I refired that. I'm really glad. I was, you know, I know I, I had a lot of people say they don't refire it, but look at even that. See, you know, you're getting more of the, let's get this in focus here, come on. You're getting more of the, uh, that spilling. And I love when it does that, when it just, the glaze just billows and it wants to drip and it wants to run. And it probably would have if it got a tiny bit hotter, but it, I feel better with this one because it had uh, the previous one, all of these were straight up, so it hadn't even got to cone five. And you know, you want to make sure that your your stuff is is at a proper temperature so that it's food safe, right? You know, it's it's you want to make sure that it, it your glazes fire to the recommended temperature.
So thank you again for watching. And if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to see, please make a comment below. Um, and I answer each and every one. So it might take me a day or two, but I will answer all of your questions. And um, thanks again for subscribing and following me on this journey and supporting me and my channel. So until next time, bye for now.